This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? So I just had a thought. For a game series called The Legend of Zelda, we almost never play as Zelda. We almost exclusively play as Link, or a version of Link, while sh Zelda fends off or does an insurmountable task. Huh. Just, just popped in my head and why I ever noticed that. But this is Tears of the Kingdom! The much anticipated Magic Glue sequel to Breath of the Wild. And. Uh, as you might be able to tell, we have. Looks like all max life and. Probably max stamina if I remember Breath of the Wild. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below. So we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Oh, that's Let's a go bad solve idea. this mystery. Remember what happened last time you said that? What happened? Link got frozen for like a thousand years or something? And you had to hold off Ganon? So this takes place immediately after Breath of the Wild, okay. So stamina. Oh yeah, our stam we have like max stamina as well. That's the master sword. Huh? Wait up. I went too far. Mm. That's right. It glows mm. like Sting from Lord of the Rings. Whenever darkness or major evils nearby. That's right, we're directly under Hyrule Castle. It's just was here magically. Just gonna retcon that. Now, if I remember the, the Master Sword is an iconic staple of the franchise. It's the sword that seals darkness and it deals like major damage. Well, at least in this last game, it deals major damage to. Uh, like Ganon and his versions of him that he corrupted the divine beast beast with. Uh, something written here. Zoni. So if we do this, when you have full health and you have the master sword, it can shoot magic beams out. So instead of throwing the sword. We're shooting beams, but it only works if you have full health. Uh, zone of Origin, designs like this, my studies. Really, because you didn't mention it before in last game, but I guess that is what it is. Uh, okay. The llama people. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, that's because they wanted to reuse the map from the last game. And they just wanted to add a few things to it. Hello. Oh, I missed. You're not hurt, are you, Link? 
from the three bats? No. Oh, that's right. These murals. Ancient prophecy. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Uh, Ganon, probably? Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? Well, there's a legend in the last game where oh, all the guardians and everything was created to fight Ganon. This is similar to the statues we saw earlier, Azoni. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. All right. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They so must have forged a relationship breeding. with the Hylians gotcha. of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. Technically, it's low roll now because we're underneath the castle. But. He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this it shows the demon king and a fierce battle against him. But no divine beasts, not this version. If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Oh. Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! Uh, one of the Great Wars. This is the Imprisoning War, and the events that led up to it! Link! This is a huge discovery! <laughs> Alright then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. Oh, they changed it's so it. easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Oh. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. So I guess there... This took place before... They sealed Ganon away? But the Divine Beast is what I'm taking from this. But there's no evidence of this until now. Magically. Ah, okay. Sure. This is why I have a lot of issues with the Rex sequels. Because it usually feels like you're trying to retcon too much. Like, you're now telling me there's this, there's this other divine creatures that was here before everybody but there's no evidence of them till now sure uh, that looks like a prison also is that back masking I think in the sound Back masking is where you take a voice or a sound and you play it backwards. That's where you can get some like some weird, like that, yeah, but backwards. It's that's what it sounds like. 
What is that? Uh, oh, looks like it's Ganon. Or a form of him. Oh, and someone doing a Kalima? Oh. Ran out of energy, apparently. That's creepy. Of uh, course. Down to three. And the sword's gonna be destroyed. Uh, yep. my big issues with the last game. There was no actual dungeons. And she's teleported away. Oh, great. The zombie hand? Oh, okay. So they're going with like a Ocarina of Time castle. Okay. Where it's floating and it's impossible to get to until you get to the end of the game is what I'm thinking also are, is that how they're going to explain the Z Zonai uh, tech and everything being everywhere now because Proto Ganon caused Hyrule Castle to float up to the sky a little bit What about all the Sheikah Shrines? Are they going to be in this game as well? Oh! We got a new arm. I'm assuming that's us. Yeah, that's us. Sober Link Emerald Arm. Okay. I'm assuming that's what gives us the ability to use the new... ...abilities. Do we have the old abilities from the last game too? Because the last game was very much a uh, physics based game. Oh, Link, finally you wake. A physics based puzzle type game. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Oh, great. How long have we been out this time? Your wounds were severe. 
I am relieved to see you escape death. Oh, of course we did. How long? 500 years? Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. And, of course, the sword is destroyed. Alright. The reason I say, of course, is because you always... Pretty much in every game... You have to go on a quest to... Get the sword. Unleash its true power. Yeah. Same thing with our health and stamina. We have to upgrade them. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, I can't actually punch. I, have to use, I actually have to use a sword. Okay. Okay. Uh... In the last game, the Master Sword wasn't actually that great, and it wasn't really useful past, like, the mid-game. Because at that point, because the Master Sword deals fixed damage. It was like 30 damage, I think it was. Then if it you were fighting against evil, it doubled the damage to 60. I think Ganon, it did even more damage. But by the time you're in the mid to late game, you're finding weapons that deal like 50 damage to like 80. I think at the end of the game, I was finding weapons that did like, I want to say consistently 80 damage. I mean, they were heavy two-handed weapons, like a claymores and stuff like that. But there's like no reason to use, uh, what's jump? X. To use the Master Sword, really. I mean, the only reason to use the Master Sword will be to use its little beam to kind of shoot stuff. But other than that, it's useless, unfortunately. I love the design, but it's kind of eh. Oh, I hate to see how this... Well, you kick it? Uh, archaic leg wear. Uh, equip. Oh, it's right leg. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I got it. I know how to equip clothing. Thank you. All right, that doesn't bode well. Uh, the reason I say it doesn't bode well is because in the last game, because this is basically Breath of the Wild 2.0. Uh, you pretty much had maybe one to three types of clothing or three sets of clothing one for combat one for exploration and one for hot or cold and that's it you wouldn't really mess with any other clothing unless you wanted to experiment but then it's like why would you bother wasting time doing that oh we're in the sky okay Oh, and let me guess, no one bothered to look up last game, so that's their reason for everything being here. Gotcha. Uh, how do we... Oh, title card? Title card. Oh, the dragons are back. Yay. Oh, this is a starting area, isn't it? Alright. I say that because there's a giant ice area next to us. Can we fall faster? Yeah, we can. Nope. There it is. 
I was aiming for the lily pad. Okay. So it seems like it's more... I mean, it's Breath of the Wild 2. So I expect all the wonderful things I hated about Breath of the Wild 1 to still be in this. Also, mixed with Skyward Sword? Strangely? Uh, let's get a proper weapon. I gotcha. Yes, I understand. We hold down left and we use the right stick to select our weapon. The same thing when we get a shield. Uh, that's for our, our horse or to distract enemies. And for a bow, we don't have yet. Okay. Now... I feel like I should say a sky shroom. Okay, just your basic mushrooms. I feel like I should say a few things. First and foremost, Legend of Zelda is a important series in my life. It's, I mean, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna lose sleep over a bad game, but it's important enough that it brought me joy, satisfaction. It was one of the first actual stories that made sense that I was able to really understand and dig deep and find out what the meanings were than other than what was just told to you. Uh, and it was just one of the better experiences I had uh, playing it. Now, my main experience would have been from the Ocarina of Time. That wonderful gem. That stealth. I remember stealth being trash in the last game. That stealth you really wouldn't use unless you could potentially one-shot enemies with like a bow. Yeah, I don't care. We'll figure that out if we need to. And because I... I basically love Ocarina of Time. I played that way too many times and I bought it way too many times as well. That I'm biased to a certain type of Zelda game, I guess it'd be. The more exploration and dungeon crawling than I am the physics-based puzzles of the last game. Because I got a feeling there's going to be an issue with this game that's... One issue with this game that was prevalent in the last game that I found. And that was that... Oh, that's cool. That was that defeating enemies sure served no real purpose beyond picking up the stuff they drop that is, like, for crafting. Uh, you have waited for me, Zelda? Of course she did. So how long have we been out? I'm assuming quite a while. It's called a Sheikah Slate, not a Pura Pad. So they're just retconning that now, okay. It's, it's a Nintendo Switch. That's what it is. Oh, I can't wait to we get actually see how bad the optimization is for this. Oh, I can already tell you there's going to be issues with the... F All right, so that's how they're doing difference in elevation. You have a slight drop shadow on it. That's annoying. All right. Back to my map. Oh, where am I? The Garden of Time. Okay. That's the temple, I'm assuming. Uh, is this in the past? Many rites and ceremonies were held there. We should head to that area. Gotcha. Oh, that's right. We touch our hand because it's magic. So yeah, in the last game, you wouldn't fight the basic enemies unless you absolutely had to. Because, one, all the weapons had durability. Even the Master Sword, which I extremely hated. 
And two, it slowed you down. It cost you resources to fight them, so you would just run by them if you could. Because you don't get XP for it, you don't get so many things that you would normally assume or hope you would get. Uh, I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I understand how to lock on, yes. Go away. Yeah, so as a... As a... Oh, that's right. Our stamina is trash right now. As a result of that... Just... Basically run by all the enemies except bosses. Because... There's no point in fighting them. Unless you're like... Really want to get into the crafting and the... Uh, Can we do this? Yeah, heavy attack. Also, we gotta switch weapons. Let's use up these stupid branches. That's a heavy attack. Ah, oh, Fury Rush is still here. Uh, that is a skill that you will need to master because that's the most efficient way to defeat high-level enemies and annoying, annoying enemies, honestly. Also bosses. If you can get it on them, you can defeat them very, very quickly. That skill is basically what made Link the champion or whatever in the last game. Uh, that's also the main way you take down Guardians. If you weren't able to do the perfect parry. Which. Hello. I was not able to do most of the time. Hello ostrich. Hey two for one. Oh sorry we don't have a paraglider yet. Uh, wooden stick. I'm assuming that's stuff we can. Uh, use for something. Let's throw you away. A long stick. It's a pike. Hello. How are you? Let's switch to a basic stick. So we wait for the opening. Nope, too soon. And it's like Dark Souls timing. Too soon. Oh, I missed that. The backswing. Wasn't expecting his backswing. No. There we go. On a lot of the early enemies, they're very forgiving. And yes, you want to try and knock their weapons out of their hand. If you can. Because a lot of times they're going to have better weapons than you have. Uh, oh, you're teaching me to cook. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Well, cooking sucked in the last game. You basically, once you found a... I mean, once you found like a, a decent recipe that gave you like five hearts or more, you would just use that constantly. There's no reason to really go to dive or delve deep into the cooking. What are you... The fuck was that, Link? What? Fuck me, that's bright as shit. Is there a... Adventure map. Is there not a... Settings menu. There is. Options. Nope. Options. Camera settings. No. Okay.
There we go. Let's try that. That. All right. I had to lower it manually on the capture. Now, doing that usually means that it's going to be dark as hell for other stuff, but you have a sword. Um, a sword and a shield. Come on, swing at me. Oh, you got, I forgot you have reach. Okay. Oh, good thing we didn't roll, actually. Broadsword. Don't need charge. Hey, our first shield. Um, yes, I um, we probably should have grabbed that when we first fought this guy, but oh well. So the shield, you can block left on D-pad lets you mess with the shield or sort through the shield. Uh there used to be a what was it like a I don't have more than one shield. You could glitch out the shield and kind of get extra height in your jumps. Which is a big thing for like speedrunning the shrines. The shrines in the last game were a good idea. But it felt like they were too much of an importance was put on them for my liking. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Oh, you're Raru, aren't you? I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Source of the right arm. Okay. Lama Didi? Forgive me for appearing Ask. to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. Oh, I hope not. I mean, you're tens of thousands of years old. In any old? case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. Also, are you Super Saiyan three or something? Why's your you hair so big? You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Oh, are there shrines nearby? Of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Of course, there's fucking shrines. Why wouldn't there be shrines? Let me guess, more physics-based puzzles. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Oh, I'm sure they are too. How many are in this one? 300? 500? 